common feeling within me is, will I ever get out of the tears? Why do I feel this way? You feel this way because you're actually feeling the tears of rebellion, the tears of, of what I'd call the tantrum. Mm -hmm. You're not feeling causal grief. And you're not feeling causal grief because you've yet to go through your addictions and you've yet to go through your fears. Every person who feels the tears of their, of their addictions not being met gets in a cycle and they get in a never-ending cycle. You can feel, you can cry for the rest of your life and never deal with anything that way. Yeah. And eventually you become exhausted from crying, but you still haven't dealt with anything, right? And that's telling you that if, there's, if no change is occurring, you're actually processing a self-deception emotion. Mm -hmm. So your tears are self-deceptive. They are the cause, they, they sorry, are caused by you denying your addictions or, and or crying when they're not met. Mm. So the, the, it's all about the avoidance of processing through your addictions. That's the reason why you're in this never-ending cycle of dealing with tears. Yeah. A person who is truly progressing does not do this. A person who truly progresses sees that the tears are the direct result of their own false beliefs, their own fears, and the direct result of them wanting their addictions met from, you know, their, their false beliefs, they want to cover their fears mm -hmm. with their addictions and they want their addictions met. And when their addictions are not met, they revert to crying. Yeah. And they're not seeing that their tears are a direct result of, of their desire for their addiction to be met and it's not being met. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to feel their addictions. And so they're not being honest with themselves. And my suggestion is if you want to get through this never-ending cycle of tears, you're going to need to be far more honest with yourself and actually see that you're actually crying in a tantrum. And what would, what would a person be feeling if they were in their causal tears? Why wouldn't they be having that feeling, will I ever get out of the tears? Because they could feel it being released from them right at the time they're doing it. They feel a change in their body. Their law of attraction will immediately change. There'll be an immediately joyful response mm -hmm. to their attractions. There's so many differences between that and where this person is. Yeah. If, you're, if you're crying over and over again without any change happening in your life, then it's an indication that you're not addressing the right thing. And usually it means that you're not addressing your issues of addictions and you're just having a good cry because you think that that's the way you've been taught to have a tantrum. Mm -hmm. and, and so most people are just in a tantrum, really, when they're crying. And, and that's not processing emotion at all. That's not processing through addiction. That's not processing through fear. And it's certainly not processing causal grief. When you feel the causal grief, you'll feel relief afterwards. Mm -hmm. You won't cry about the same thing again, in fact. In fact, in fact, if you think about the same thing again, it would hardly bring a tear to your eye at all. And in fact, you'll get to the point where it won't bring any tears to your eyes because it's all been cried out. Yes. You can remember the same events and you won't cry about them anymore. The same, uh, the same events will not happen to you again either, by the way. So in other words, you won't attract the same events anymore. Your attractions will be very different. You'll attract different people into your life. The old people will probably leave your life, many of them, because they will probably remain in their own addictions for a while. Mm -hmm. And new people will come into your life and your life will change. These are all indications that you've actually made progress. If, if these things don't happen and you're just going around in a cycle, then you're not actually making progress at all, right? You're just going over and over and over and over the same old thing. And the same old thing is you have, you're, you have addictions that you don't want to face and whenever you don't get them met, you want to have a good cry about it as if the world's going to respond to your tears. Okay. And, that, and the world won't respond to your tears in addiction. The universe only responds to you releasing a causal emotion and causal emotions of grief are not based around anger or rage or addictions or fears. They're all much, much deeper than that. And, and we need to get into those if we really want to have a change in our day-to-day -day life. Mm. Mm.